Buying the best budget smartphone under $300 doesn't mean compromising on what you want. Hi guys. Welcome to Best Gadgets. We've got the top 5 best smartphones under $300 for you today. You can buy it at the links in the description below the video. Number 5. Moto G Stylus, the best budget phone with a stylus. It's a good phone for $280, whether you're a stylus devotee or just stylus curious. It has a big 6.8-inch LCD display at 1080 pixels resolution, good battery life with its 4000 mAh cell, and ample internal storage with 128GB of capacity. Built-in Stylus The built-in stylus gives you pinpoint control, and a whole new way to express yourself. Way more accurate than your finger, you can edit photos, or copy and paste the text. The stylus is seamlessly integrated with the Moto Note app, so you can start writing without even unlocking your phone. 48 megapixels quad camera system, which includes a 48 megapixel f1.7 main camera that produces 12 megapixel images, an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. There are no surprises here. The G stylus is capable of good quality images in bright light, particularly from the main camera. Down sampling from 48 megapixels to 12 allows it to capture plenty of detail, but if you look closely, you'll see some crunchy looking sharpening. Colors are reproduced well, without looking overly saturated. You get a faster, and smooth performance, thanks to its Qualcomm Snapdragon 678 processor and 4GB of RAM, and this combination feels more than adequate for day-to-day -day tasks. Apps load quickly, and jumping between them feels snappy. Number 4. Samsung Galaxy A13 5G, everything you need for a great price. For $249, it's a reliable device with good performance, healthy battery life, and a decent camera. The MediaTek 700 5G chipset, and its 4GB of RAM are strong points. For a phone at this price, it handles daily tasks very well, letting you jump quickly between apps, and isn't prone to closing apps in the background overzealously. The Galaxy A13 5G features a 6.5-inch 720 pixel screen, a low resolution for a relatively big display. It's an LCD panel, which is common in the under $300 class, and looks a little washed out compared to the richer OLED displays. It does feature up to a 90Hz refresh rate, which makes scrolling and animations look a little smoother than the standard 60Hz. There's a fingerprint sensor embedded in the power button on the side of the phone, and it's very fast. Battery life is another one of the A13's strong points. The phone's 5000 mAh cell will last you a couple of days of moderate use on Wi-Fi. A heavy user would likely get through a full day and then some. Samsung Galaxy A13 5G comes with a triple rear camera setup of 50 megapixels primary camera, and 2 plus 2 megapixels camera for macro and depth shots, and it is having a 5 megapixels front camera for selfie purposes. The camera quality of this phone is amazing because of its 50 megapixels camera. Samsung also claims some features like super slow-mo, enhanced panorama, and a full HD picture. Number 3. Nokia G55G, one of the strong build qualities you'll find. Over in the US and Australia, there's a model with 4GB of RAM, and 128GB of storage for below $280, and the good news is there's a microSD card slot, to add up to 512GB to this total. All devices share the Snapdragon 480 chipset at their core, a decent performer, but it's never what you'd call really fast. Apps open and screen swap at a sedate but never frustrating pace. One area in which the Nokia G50 really excels, is the battery life. With a 5000 mAh cell and relatively frugal components, you can expect two days of usage out of a single charge under normal or moderate conditions. The package is led by a respectable 48 megapixels wide sensor, with an f1.8 aperture. This is backed by a much lesser 5 megapixels ultra wide and a 2 megapixels depth assistant. The latter really isn't a camera in its own right. Selfie duty is handled by an 8 megapixels front-facing camera, stashed in that aforementioned teardrop notch. The screen is where the G50 really loses points. It's 6.82 inches in size, which is gigantic, but the 1560 by 720 pixel resolution is definitely not. It's an IPS LCD panel, so there's no always-on display available, there are some serious bezels around it, the 450 nits maximum brightness is only just about acceptable, but worst of all is it's a 60Hz refresh rate panel. Nokia is pushing the G50 as an affordable 5G phone, delivered here by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 processor, 
and its associated modem. Number 2. TCL20S, a worthy competitor in the budget space. Display resolution, clocks in at 2400 by 1080 pixels, and the 6.67 inch FHD plus dash display, powered by NXD Vision technology, delivers real-time visual enhancement to color, contrast and sharpness, creating an outstanding visual experience. The TCL20S is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 mobile platform, with 4GB of RAM. There's 128GB of storage on board. If you need a little more space, you can add up to 1TB of external storage with a microSD card. The intelligent display, provides an eye strain free experience, tough circular polarization for low blue light, adjusts brightness based on ambient light, while reading mode, provides paper-like reading. It features a side fingerprint sensor, to enjoy the ergonomic and premium in hand feel, with a side fingerprint sensor built into the power button. Capture the beauty around you with the TCL20S AI-powered quad camera that includes a 64-megapixel Super High res main, 8-megapixels 118 degrees wide-angle, 2-megapixels depth, and 2-megapixels macro camera. Capture the most exhilarating details and fall in love with smartphone movies filmed with 4K resolution live HDR, and instant video editing for easy sharing. The 16-megapixels front camera with HDR, highlights your natural beauty, and makes you stand out from the background even when backlit. All-day battery and fast charging, the mighty 5000 mAh battery has the power to let you do more all day, with up to 16 hours of mixed usage, while 18 watts fast charging capability means you're back up and running in no time. Number 1. OnePlus Nor N200 5G, the best high-quality screen for this range. It is available at a reasonable price of about $240. The N200 5G has a large 6.49 inch, full HD plus LCD display with a 90Hz refresh rate. Perfect for watching your favorite shows and videos. And with a long lasting 5000 mAh battery, and 18 watts fast charging, your entertainment can last all day. Powering this modest handset, is the Snapdragon 485G with 4GB of RAM. There's 64GB of onboard storage, but you can expand it via micro SD. That and the 3.5mm jack are two things you don't see in phones anymore. The N200 5G is water resistant, but lacks an IP rating to protect against drops in the sink or tub. The plastic frame and backplate can handle minor drops and dings without injury, but the Gorilla Glass 3 display is unlikely to handle direct impacts well. The triple camera setup is alright, with a 13 megapixels primary camera on the back, with f2.2 apertures, and 2 megapixels macro sensors with f2.4 apertures. The front-facing camera clocks in at 16 megapixels, with an f2.0 aperture. It's a significant improvement from the 8 megapixels lens on the N100. The N200 5G is capable of decent shots and good light. An indoor nightscape test photos were blurry and flat, with intermittent splotches in the background that are likely due to overly aggressive noise cancellation. Daylight test photos with the selfie camera were excellent. All of the shots were crisp and properly exposed, and featured excellent foreground detail.